Hello and welcome back to the Innovation Hub. Please come in, join us for some free educational ses sessions. Right now, we're gonna talk about how you can create healthy homes by integrating ventilation and fresh air. We're gonna have Edwin Bender speaking. Edwin is the VP of Marketing and GM for Innovation at Braun Newtone, which is headquartered in Hartford, Wisconsin. The company is the global leader in the manufacturing of ventilation products, including bath fans, hood ranges, ERVs, and HRVs. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Edwin to the stage. All right, hello everyone. Thank you for spending your afternoon with me. Um, I'm going to talk to you about something that I think is very important, and that is, in 10 years from now, what is going to make you proud about being a custom integrator? And one of those things is improving the health of the homes for the people that you work. Just a short note, bro new tone, our why is that better quality of air means better quality of life and we're going to do everything to deliver that mission. And ultimately, if you breathe better, you're gonna come home to fresh air, you're gonna feel better. I could try and describe who we are, but I'm gonna give you a short two minute video that explains it best. Air, as clean as the world's most pristine places on earth. That's what Bro Newtone is helping families come home to every day. Bro Newtone is improving your life by improving the air you and your loved ones breathe. Our innovative ventilation products are designed to clean and freshen the air around you and to look as good as they perform. It's exactly why we're the leaders in home ventilation. Going about daily life at home generates excess humidity and increases harmful chemicals in the air. But we're here to help you make sure your home is safer, cleaner, more comfortable, and full of fresh air. While you get ready for your busy day, Bro Newtone products are quietly working to better your air quality. As you work to stay healthy, we're working to keep the air you breathe healthier. When you're nurturing the ones you love, we're busy removing harmful, unseen particles. As you take care of your family, Bro Newtone products are quickly improving the air in your home. So when you go to bed at night, you have the comfort knowing that each breath your family takes inside is as clean as the air outside. Brown new tone. Come home to fresh air. So I've got a very, very simple question to all of y'all. This is what we talk about every day. You spend around 90% of your time indoors. Do you know what your indoor air quality is? Most don't, and at most, it's not very good. So how are we gonna deal with that? Let me also give you a little bit of a, kind of a, new, uh, a, a visual representation of how to think about this. One of these represents the amount of air you breathe a day, one of them represents the amount of water you drink per day, and one of them represents the amount of food you eat per day. Which one do you think is the air? Anyone? The big one. All right, there you go. That's true. You take 25,000 breaths every single day. If you're not optimizing around your indoor air quality and you're not dealing with that, how are you making sure that the home that you are designing for people is the best that it can possibly be? What's caused this? What's changed? Why are we at a custom integrator show where we may not have ever been before? A couple things. There has been a large change in the home building industry over the last 10 to 15 years. Homes are being built tighter every single day than they ever have been before. It's like putting a plastic bag around the house that means nothing can get in and nothing can get out. 
It's done for energy efficiency, which is a good thing. Nobody should decide, take away from this that putting that energy efficient house together is a bad idea. But what it means is that you now have to poke strategic filtered fresh air holes into that house to get good air in and to get bad air out. And the things that we talk about when we're looking at how to develop a healthy home are things like CO2, like VOCs, which are volatile organic compounds. Think of things that come off your stove, things that come off of you know, hairspray, cleaning supplies. PM 2.5, this is a small particulate matter. If you, any of you all have a light beam in your house and you've seen little dust particles floating in it, that's what that PM 2.5 is that gets into your lungs. And humidity, of course, everybody knows that too high humidity is bad. They're used to understanding that the bathroom, too high, you get mold and mildew. But what many people learned during the pandemic is that too low humidity is a breeding ground for viruses. And so how do you make sure that you understand what's happening in your house and you act on it. There's also been a dramatic change in lifestyle over the last 50 years for people. My father-in-law never had an indoor dog. He had an outdoor dog. Dogs and cats give off three times as much pollution as people. So when you have a building code that's built around the number of square feet and the number of bedrooms, it's not taking into account any of these changes that are happening in our lives. If you look at that young lady in the picture there, she looks a little bit like one of my, one of my daughters. I can't get my daughters to turn the bath fan on in the morning. And when I finally beat some sense into them and they do, they leave it on all day. So now they're wasting energy. So how do we solve for things like that? And then you talk about entertainment and the number of people that are coming over to homes and you think about the open concept and the big kitchens and everybody standing around the island, you have more people gathering in tight spaces that are being enclosed than ever before. Recently, Parks and Associates, one of the most well-known um, researchers into the uh, IoT and home technology space, based right here in Dallas, um, did some studies and, and we participated or were at a show that they were at. Um, the amount of home, uh, um, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, smart home technology is at an all-time high, and the intent is to go higher. If you couple that with the other data that they, that they talked about, 67% of people have a chronic condition today. Do you think it's going to get better or worse moving everything into the house and tightening things up? 20% of caregivers are putting a sensing device into their loved one's homes. Do you want to be reactive or proactive what, to what they're going to find? That's the real key. Do the builders care? Yes, I travel, the, I travel across the country every single week. The builders care, they need help. We'll talk about that a little bit later. They need to know that they got somebody they can trust. They need to know somebody that they, that, that they have a system that's robust. Our basis for developing this process started with ventilation. We have been in the business for 90 years. Tomorrow we celebrate with our employees that. And now we're saying there's something more that can be done. And that's why we developed the product. I'll talk to you a little bit later. So is there a solution? Nope, no solution. We can all leave. No. Of course, I wouldn't be here if there wasn't a solution. Look, there's a lot of stuff out there that you can put into the home. We talked about that the caregivers are putting out there to gather information. Information is good. It's raising the level of awareness, and people are thinking about what do they have to do next. But I want you to think about what happened in, this, in the industry before on the comfort side of things. Information is like the thermometer. You could hang a thermometer in your house, and then every time you saw it, not in the range that you liked it, you could go open a window, you could open a door, you could turn on your furnace. But how did the business evolve? It went to humidistats, thermostats. Why? You program the thermo thermostat, tell it what range you want it to live in, and it automatically adjusts. So information is good, but activation 
is better and frankly necessary. So let's go back to the topic we were talking about. Indoor air quality. Is information good? Absolutely. But better is activation. And tying your ventilation products together, activating them automatically when you sense bad indoor air quality. And with three simple devices, we are able to tie together the ventilation products that already exist in your house. We're not telling you to add some newfangled thing. You have rain shoulds in your house. You have bath fans in your house. The newest construction will have fresh air systems in the house. They just need to be turned on at the right time at the, and, at, and to deal with some of the spikes that happen when you have people together. And so it's very, very simple. Our Overture product connects, you can see here, it connects your range hood, your bath fan, your uh, fresh air system through those devices that are sensing the air. You'll put sensors into your, be your bedroom, into your uh, living room, into your bathroom, into your kitchen. They will read the air quality and based on that, they will activate. Again, you won't have the girl in the picture without, with the steam on the, on the window. The whole point here is people are very bad sensors. And when you go beyond humidity, when you talk about CO2, when you talk about PM 2.5, that small particulate matter, um, there was a recent study that said that people are willing to deal with particulate matter in the air four times higher than the upper limit of the WHO recommended limit. People do not know what they can have we have the opportunity to tell them. It's an app-based system. It gives the opportunity for the homeowner to learn. We've had situations where we're able to pinpoint where is the bad air. It doesn't have to be in the whole house, but we found an, a situation where we're able to say, yeah, there's a, a, in the, in the um, laundry room, they had stored all of their chemicals. So there was a very large spike in the VOCs in that room. Okay, now we can give that information to the homeowner. We don't have to uh, redo the entire house and find the VOCs everywhere. That's what sensing does. So a lot of people always ask me, well, why hasn't this been solved already? Because homeowners and builders need help. And the residential integrator is a crucial piece to making that happen. We know there's a problem, but people are used to what they see and feel. They're not so used to what they breathe. The, re the solution requires planning. It's not a standalone. They're, you're activating the ventilation devices. The good news is we're not asking the residential integrator to install ventilation devices. What we're asking them to do is to connect them just like you would a scene in a room with lights and blinds. We know people care about the problem. They don't always know the magnitude. They don't know how to solve it. That's always a question. That's why they stick a, a sensor into somebody else's room or they ask questions. But ultimately, they need help from the builder to supply a well-built house. So, at the end of the day, there is a solution. It's monitoring and activation. And up until now, one of the missing pieces we have had is you, the custom integrators. You're a crucial part to putting this together for the builder. At a recent tech show, we had one of the sales and marketing leaders for a top 15 builder say that when he brought the technical person into the discussion with the homeowner at the beginning of the sales cycle, the average sales price went up over $100,000. They have all the discussions with the EMP, electrical, mechanical, plumbing. Getting the technical people to the front end is valuable to them too. So it's not like it's a hard sell, it just has to be explained to them. And it all comes back to this. Look, all of this, whatever I say, 
this is a question you need, you need to ask yourself, whether it's in the future, in the house you have, do you know what the air quality is in your house? And if you don't, you probably want to find out, and then you can make a decision on where you go next. So with that, we are over at booth uh, 4041, four aisles over to the right. Um, I've definitely got a little bit of extra time, so I'm happy to answer any questions. So the question was, uh, what about integration with control systems? Um, we are currently integrated with Elan. We will be, in a month, we will be integrated with uh, Crestron and Control 4, and uh, Alarm.com will be coming uh, next year. Any other questions? <laughs>